Moving on here, let's say you had 504 divided by 3. So you'll have 504 divided by 3. Okay? So, just like always, we see, can 3 go into 5? Well, sure it can. 5 is bigger than 3, right? And how many times will 3 go into 5? Well, it's only going to go one time because 3 times 2 is going to give us 6, and that's too big. So let's say 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. I draw a line, and I do a subtraction. 5 minus 3 gives me 2. Okay? So now I ask myself the question, can 3 be divided into 2? Well, no, it can't because 2 is, is smaller than 3. You can't do that. So I'm going to drag the 0 down, and I'm going to make it bigger. And now I can do that. I can take 3 and divide it into 20. Okay? I can do that because 20 is bigger than 3. How many times will it go? 3 times, let's say 5 is 15. Okay? Getting closer. 3 times um, 6 is 18. Okay? We're getting pretty close. And 3 times 7 is going to give you 21, and that's too big. You can't use that. So let's go back to 3 times 6, 3 times 6, giving us 18. Remember, we were trying to divide the 3 into the 20. We're going to say it goes 6 times evenly. Okay? 3 times 6 gives us 18. Let's go ahead and do the subtraction. Okay? Um, you probably know that 20 minus 18 is just going to give you 2. Okay? But if you don't remember that, you can just do the subtraction here. Um, because you have a 0 up here, we're going to borrow from the 2, make him a 1. I'm going to put a 1 here and make him a 10. So I'm going to take the 1 from the 2 and give it to the 0, making him a 10. Now, 10 minus 8 is going to give you 2. And the 1 minus 1 is going to give you 0, so you don't even have to add that in there. Okay? So now, continuing on, can 3 be divided into 2? No, it can't, because 2 is too small. So I'm going to take this 4, and I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to make it 24. Now I can do this division into 24. How many times will it go? Well, if you think about it, you'll realize that 8 times 3 is 24. So, you, so 8 times 3 is 24. So it goes an even number of times, and that would be 8 times. So 8 times 3 is going to give you 24. 24 minus 24 gives you a big fat 0. So that means that the remainder is 0. So there is no remainder in this problem. Uh, there is no remainder in this problem. So when you take 504 divided by 3, you're going to get 168. Okay, you're going to get 168. And it goes an even number of times with no remainder. And if you want to check your answer, which I think you should always do, then all you would have to do is say 3 times 168. Okay, and you should get 504. Let's multiply here. 8 times 3 is 24. So I'm going to put my 4 here and my 2 up here. Now let's multiply here. 6 times 3 is 18, right? 18. Plus the 2 I just wrote here is going to give me 20. So I'm going to put the 0 there and the 2 up there. Okay? 1 times 3 gives me 3. Plus 2 more uh, give me 5. 504 checks with 504. So I have checked the answer. Remember, in the end of the day, when you do this, what you're trying to figure out is what number do you multiply by that would give you underneath what you're looking for here.